praise be Jesus and Mary. Today's first reading, we're following the journey of the Hebrews uh, after they've departed from Egypt. And they've now, at this point, crossed the Red Sea, and they are continuing on. They've now been uh, out there from Egypt for 30 days. It says, on the 15th day of the second month after their departure from the land of Egypt. Uh, and they left on the 15th day of the first month. So they've been out there 30 days, and uh, it says, Here in the desert, the whole assembly of the children of Israel grumbled against Moses and Aaron. And they said, Would that we had died at the Lord's hand in the land of Egypt, as we sat by our flesh pots and ate our fill of bread. And so the food that they brought with them has now run out, and uh, they're beginning to grumble and complain and really lose faith in God, the same God who just worked uh, incredible miracles for them, both in the land of Egypt uh, as well as crossing the Red Sea. The commentary says, Scripture here notes the crass, voracious gluttony of the people who, like sheep on grass, were always leaning over these flesh pots of theirs. And here we have a paradigm, an example, and an outline how one falls away from the faith. You see that? They're falling away from faith. And there are different steps to their falling away. First, under the waves of temptation, people forget the graces. Even miracles received, just like the Hebrews forgot all of the plagues and prodigies worked in Egypt. Second, they regretted that God had called them out of Egypt. That is, the soul regrets being called from worldly ways and from following the world's allurements. So that first step is basically due to a lack of prayer, a lack of interiority, interior silence, reflection. Somebody becomes forgetful of God, the graces that they received, and even miracles, right? We have miracles um, that have taken place. The Shroud of Turin, the miraculous Tilma of Guadalupe, the Eucharistic miracle of Ranchano, incorrupt bodies of saints, um, the stigmata of Padre Pio and the miracles that he worked, people who are still alive today that experience that. So we need to reflect and remember these things so as not to fall away from faith. But then, like I said, the next stage is the soul then regrets being called from worldly ways and from following the world's allurements. That is symbolically represented of these people regretting being called out of Egypt. Third, they give up hope in the loving power of God. That's what the response oral psalm says, right? They begin to question, can God spread a table before us in the desert? Well, if he just parted the Red Sea, don't you think he can also provide food for you? And finally, if they can, they return to their flesh pots. That is, you return to Egypt, you return to your life of sin, like a dog returning to its vomit, as the scripture says. And so we know how to prevent this, and that is by prayer and an interior life, and always remembering the graces that God has given us, his goodness towards us, and even the miracles that he has worked. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.